Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Social Dot In account. This is Pradeep, and on this episode of the Social Media Weekly, we're talking about Google banking on guided recipes. We're talking about Facebook rolling out Facebook Shops, and we're talking about WhatsApp being used for hearings on indirect tax. Let's get started. So the first story we have for you today is about Google and Apple collaborating to roll out contact tracing API. The way this will work, this is an API, not an app, is that if you have tested positive for COVID-19, you can go over to the settings on your Android or iPhone and mark yourself as positive. What will happen then is that anyone who's come in contact with you in the last 14 days, this is tracked using Bluetooth, will get a notification. This is an API, not an app, because governments are not very good at managing data. The governments will be providing a public health app which will be using this API as a backend. There is a link in the description right next to that like button. The next story has to do with Google banking on guided recipe content. So if you have a recipe blog, you probably got a notification from Google Webmaster telling you that there are issues with your guided recipes. The following are the three new features. The first one is called Guided Recipe Enhancement Report, which tells you if there are any issues with your guided recipes. And once you fix them, you can mark them as fixed right on the report itself. The second one is Guided Recipes in Rich Results, which shows you how your guided recipes will appear in Google's rich results thanks to your structured data. And the third one is Preview using Google Assistant, which will show you how the Google Assistant will render your guided recipes on smart displays. If you have a recipe blog, you should check this one out right away. The next story has to do with Facebook finally rolling out Facebook Shops. So if you have a good Facebook page or an Instagram account, you can now monetize it using a Facebook shop. This is a separate tab where you can upload your products, select a cover photo, and also select an accent color based on your brand. Also in the future, Instagram products will be appearing inside the Instagram Explore tab. Now, to be clear, on the back end, this is relying on your Shopify or BigCommerce or WooCommerce shop, which can be used to manage your inventory and your fulfillment. Our next story has to do with Facebook rolling out a profile launch feature in India. So in 2017, Facebook rolled out a profile picture guard wherein people who are not your friends cannot download or zoom in onto your profile picture. Now in 2020, they're rolling out profile lock wherein you can go to your Facebook profile, tap on your name, tap on more and then tap on profile lock and then tap on confirm. Once you're done with that, people who are not your friend on Facebook cannot zoom into or download your Facebook profile picture. They also will not have access to your Facebook content. It's a good move and it's obviously geared towards women men in India. Our final story of the day has to do with WhatsApp being used for hearings on indirect tax matters. So in Thane in Maharashtra, the tax authority has issued a directive in conjunction with the CBIC's directive in April, which allows WhatsApp video conferencing for indirect tax hearings. Indirect tax means things like GST and service tax and excise duty. And the way this will work is that once you have consented for a WhatsApp hearing, you will have to provide your WhatsApp number and then a date will be set. Before the date, you will get a notification on WhatsApp. And then after the hearing, you will get a hearing memo on PDF format on WhatsApp, which you'll have to download, sign and upload and send it back within 15 minutes. It's wild that WhatsApp is being used for WhatsApp hearings on indirect tax matters, which are rather serious. And let's just hope that your child is not screaming in the background while you're doing your hearing. That's about it for this week's episode, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments on what you think about WhatsApp hearings in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And we will see you guys in the next episode.